Hey, hey, hey. Praise the Lord for another day. This past hour is a job call. Your pass to the airway. It's spiritual entertainment. Wait a minute, kitty, you tied up. You let you. Wait a minute. It encourage you to put your ex in the vision. <laughs> Keep me in shape. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Oh, Lord. Look at that sky, y'all. And that pretty. Mm. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I know I had a bad note there. I just woke up not too long ago. <laughs> I had taken a nap. Girlfriend got tired. Girlfriend got tired. I came back from my running around. Put the groceries on the couch and dove in that bed. And the kid jumped in there with me. And we was knocked out. I woke up, God woke me up. He know I wanted to do laundry at night. So he woke me up 10 minutes before the office, the leasing office closed so I could get money on my laundry card. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes, he did. So I just woke up 10 minutes to 5. <laughs> I'm still half asleep because I was getting some Z's in. You hear me? I was in La La Land. <laughs> that good sleep. I was getting that good sleep. Mm-hmm. Be a lot going on emotionally and physically and mentally, but a lot going on. And I really, when I get tired, I get tired. <laughs> I be wearing every every molecule out in my body. <laughs> All is on, y'all. All is on. And I be trying to do everything. You like my little... My little toilet paper earrings Isis gave me. <laughs> they are a reminder to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and and I'm not sure I understand. And eat your fruit every day to help you stay regular. It's very important. You don't want to be full of it like I used to be. It makes you irritable. It really does. That's why I'm so happy now. My body is just like a machine now. Since I changed my diet, I'm a vegan. I drink plenty of water all day long because my my basic beverage every day is water sometimes with my turmeric tea and my the kid just had two poops in less than 20 minutes you go girl she she she, she regular too <laughs> like a mama I cook food I cook her food she eats blue buffalo kibble but I make her I cut up I cut up um, yams, um, zucchini, squash, and carrots, and I cook that down for, her, and I mix about a, a cup of that with her, with a cup of her kibble twice a day, and she stays right regular and right happy, <laughs> like a mama. Mm -hmm. We eat the same foods. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anybody out there need prayer? Thank you, Jesus. Too. 
y'all today the phoenix weather was freaking amazing today when i stepped outside my door this morning and i felt that brisk air with the sun beaming down so strong oh my gosh i was like wow lord this is amazing thank you god Whoa, you talk about a beautiful day Y'all, Phoenix is a place to be <laughs> for Allison anyway. I'm so glad my daughter moved here. The Holy Spirit moved my daughter. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I saw a heart. Somebody's out there. Who's that so I can pray for you personally? <laughs> I saw a heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the heart. Whether you want to show yourself or not, <laughs> or say anything. Stop. <laughs> oh, stop, Nikita, stop. Stop. Hey, boy. Oh, I'm hot, man. Holy God. Sharonda! Hi, baby! How you doing? Oh, that's an overcoming right there, y'all. We got Sharonda Huggins on the line. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you for Sharonda, God. I thank you for the respect she always gave me as her teacher, God. I thank you for touching her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Father. God, I ask that you bless the fruit of her womb, Father. I ask that you bless her husband, Father. I ask that you bless everybody attached to her. Let no weapon formed against them prosper. And let them refuse every tongue that accuses them, Father. I thank you for giving her the desires of her heart, and she delights herself in you, Father. There's no good thing you withhold from her, Father. <clears throat> she seeks your will, Father. So I thank you, Father. I thank you for touching her right now, letting her feel your peace that surpasses all understanding. Wrap your loving arms around Sharonda right now, Father. Renew a right spirit within her. Strengthen her for the journey ahead, Father. O open her eyes to what you have in store for her. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I thank you for letting her live a long, happy, healthy, prosperous life and die of old age peacefully surrounded by loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. There's no good thing God will withhold from you. <laughs> my sister in Christ. Hey, can she tell me that I'm like I said? Nikita, really? Really? You really gonna chase that dog? You really gonna chase that dog while I'm holding on to your leaves? Why? That's not nice. That's not nice. Come on here. Come on. Interrupting my prayer like this, she ought to be ashamed of herself. She ought to be ashamed of herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. What was you showing me about Sharon, the Father? I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for her life. I thank you for her leadership skills, Father. As did you. Give her strength for the journey, Father. Let her know that her work is not in vain. <laughs> that people's lives are changed because of her. Hallelujah. Because of her witness. Because of her smile. Because of her patience. It's not in vain, Sharon. <laughs> I know it feel like it sometimes, but it ain't. <laughs> God sees everything. And he's the most important one you serve to please him, baby. Whatever you do, you do it unto God. You don't do it unto man. Man will benefit, but you do it unto God. And he will always bless you and provide all of your needs according to his riches. And he owns everything. Do you hear me? There's nothing impossible with God. And if he's told you something, you trust and believe it's going to come to pass. Don't doubt. Ask God to take all fear, doubt, and disbelief away from you. In the name of Jesus, you pray that prayer every day. And that fear and that doubt and that disbelief, it'll leave. It'll leave. It'll leave. I'm telling you what I did, baby. We're a lot alike. We're a lot alike, Sharonda. Mm -hmm. And anything I can do, you could do. 
<laughs> and do it better because you're younger and prettier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. How you doing? I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I thank you for Valeria. Thank you for letting her be in the land of the living today, God. I thank you for letting her not find it robbery to give me her time once again, Father. God, I guess you give me a word for, for Valeria, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, ask that you smile down on her right now, God. Let her feel the warmth of your presence right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Send your minister and angels to her body, to her mind, to her soul. Any pains of the past that keep haunting her, Father, heal her soul right now in the name of Jesus. Never to return to them again. Never to waste her time thinking on anything that caused her pain again. God, fill her mind with good memories. Fill her mind with good dreams that you have in store for her, God. She is created especially for your purpose, Father. So I ask that you open her eyes. I ask that you open her ears to your voice so that she will not miss a word that you are speaking to her. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you touch her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Anything unlike you going on in her body, I rebuke it right now. I bind it. I cast it down to hell. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against her will prosper, and she will refute every tongue that accuses her. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for increasing her confidence this day, Father, knowing that you have a mighty work for her. <laughs> thank you, Father. Let her know that she's only passing through this way. Head kiss shift. Tell her I'm like I say. She's picking up what she needs to do, what you've asked her to do. Head kiss shift. Tell her I'm like I say. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Big things. Valeria, great things, baby. Great things he has in store for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just suck up everything you got. Uh, suck up everything you can. Suck up all the words that you can suck up. Just listen for his voice. Let him guide you. He'll lead you to everything you need to know to do what he's called you to do. If you haven't asked him yet, say, God, what is my purpose? What is my purpose? And he'll tell you. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe and you will receive. If you need guidance, he'll give you guidance. If you need a healing, he'll give you a healing. There's no good thing he'll withhold from them that walk upright. Not walk perfect, because it's impossible to be perfect, but walk upright trying to please God. Loving him first, loving yourself second, and loving your neighbor as yourself. That's what we do. Hallelujah. So we do our fruit check daily. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. So we, we, we check ourselves. We say, okay, is my fruit okay today? If it's not, then you repent. Say, Father, help me be more patient next time. Forgive me for wilding out on that person. Forgive me, Father, for thinking the worst to somebody. Forgive me, Father. For your sins, we have to ask him to forgive us because we'll never be perfect. But if we confess our sins, we can always walk with our head up high, knowing that he's working for us because we acknowledge that we need a savior. We acknowledge that we sin and fall short of his glory. We all do. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect but Jesus himself. Hallelujah. I ask all these things for Valeria in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Sharon. I see what you said. <laughs> Sharon said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen.
<laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh. Traveling mercies to y'all. Protect them, Father. Wrap your loving arms around them. Protect, protect them as they travel, Father, in the name of Jesus. Protect them, Father. Keep them awake on the road, Father. Keep them from harm or danger and accidents. And bless their new life, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. See, when, when I ask God to order my steps in His Word, I ask the Holy Spirit to guide my thoughts, my words, and my actions. So everything I experience during the day is in God's divine will for me. So every connection I make, I take it serious. Every connection I make, it's got to, it means something. It means something. There's no accidents when you're serving God. <laughs> when you when you walking with God, there ain't no accidents. Your steps are ordered by God. There are no mistakes. You hear me? There are no mistakes. There are no coincidences. No. No, it's not a coincidence. No. Everything happens for a reason, both good and bad. But the good will work. All things, Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good for them that love the Lord and those that are called according to his purpose. And that's, that be us, y'all. That be us. <laughs> Excuse me. That be us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm going to get off here because I got to record this and then let it download so it'll be ready to, for me to put on my website in the morning. Y'all, it ain't easy being me. Oh, Lord, it ain't easy being me. <laughs> you talk about holding up a standard. Golly. I see, you see, God is my, God is my accountability partner. So how you going to half step on God? How you going to not give your best if God is your account? accountability partner that's why i do so much y'all that's why i'm succeeding in what i do because i acknowledge god in all of my ways and i can I, and i know that what i do i'm doing it for him come on can it stop i'm sorry no, no, no. It just oh, it's like some like that hamper is just like covered in my dog's hair oh what kind of dog y'all have a little oh where y'all moving to uh, Tennessee. Okay. So this is my mom. She came out from Tennessee. Yeah. Aw, yeah. what a wonderful mom you are. <laughs> Nothing like a mother's love. Right. Nothing like a... I right. prayed for y'all. I prayed for your trip. I prayed for your future. Thank you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You're welcome. You're Thank you. God bless y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, what was I saying, no. y'all? That I got to get off here. I can't wait to have a um, have a fruit tree in my yard. I want a lemon and a mandarin tree. That's what I want. I want lemon and mandarin trees, y'all. Pray for me about my house on February 24th. Y'all be praying for my house. <laughs> God showed me that house on the other side of that mountain. God called me that mountain, y'all. I ain't crazy. Because <laughs> like I said, ain't no coincidences. God sh sh told, took me to that daggone mountain where Frank Lloyd Wright's house, my, my favorite architect, the Circular Sun House, Frank Lloyd Wright, and I did a project on his house when I was in college. Come on now, and the daggone realtor name is the same name as my college professor. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. And through how he showed me that house. Oh, it's, that's a story. I know y'all heard that story. I ain't going through that story. I ain't going through that story. But the story is a freaking amazing, y'all. It's a freaking amazing. <laughs> So I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt, God is going to give me that house. I know it. I know it. He, I ain't come to Phoenix looking for no house. 
I didn't come to Phoenix. I, I rented that. I got two homes. I left, but I rented that house, that rented that apartment like it wasn't nothing to come and have Grandma Deezy take care of my granddaughter three days a week. That was all that was on my mind. God called me to that mountain first. Then he's going to show me to that house on the other side of that mountain. Yeah. He's just letting me know. He's just letting me know. I had I didn't even know that Frank the Circle of Sun house was here. I didn't even think about that house since I was in college. Oh, thank you. And I had a tour of a seven point nine million dollar house. It's just a three bedroom house with a swimming pool, but it's beautiful. It's circular. It's, and I made a project based on it in college, man. And everybody guessed that it was that Frank Lloyd Wright was my architect. I got an A on that project. He used it as an example of an excellent quality project. I cut out all these wooden circles and put them up on like stilts. It was kind of like a like a cake. It was it was something, but everybody knew I was basing it on the circular sun house. And that place is three miles from where I'm at right now. Come on now. I said I wasn't gonna tell the story. But I wouldn't have known about it if my son, my son in love, Charlie, didn't come home and be rude and turn the television on Architecture Digest and walk in the kitchen. I was like, why he see that man, the baby, looking at the wiggles? He just don't come and turn the TV off, turn the channel and walk in the kitchen without saying nothing. And he was on Architecture Digest. And then that's how I, I he said, you can subscribe. I said, what is this, Charlie? Because I love architecture. And, and, um. And he, he said, um, um, you can subscribe to it on YouTube. So I did. And then I was working one day and I got a notification and it was the Circular Sun House. I still wonder where that is. I Googled it. It was in Phoenix. I was like, dang. I said, Phoenix? And I said, where is that? It was three miles from me. And then I go driving to it. And I said, oh, my Lord, this is the same road that me and Nikita walked to get to that mountain. I'm looking at the navigators getting closer and closer to that house. I was like, get out of here. That circular sun house is on the other side of that mountain. God called me to. I went to the mountain, made a right, and the first light at the left go up the mountain around the other side is the circular sun house. You tell me God ain't show me that house. You tell me that house is not mine. Hmm. Yeah, that ain't no coincidence, y'all. Mm-mm. No, I don't know how he's going to do it, but I'm trusting that he's going to do it because it's not, it wasn't my will. It wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't what I came here for. That's why I'm, I know it's, it's just a gift from God. It's just going to be a gift for God for me sacrificing and uplifting my life. Come here and do what he told me to do and help with raise my granddaughter. I don't ask, I don't, I don't ask my daughter for a penny. Mm-mm. No, I rent my own. God provided Airbnb business for me to be able to pay my rent every month, a thousand dollars rent, and 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 paying two mortgages, and I'm by myself, divorced woman. <laughs> Y'all, God be performing miracles in my life every single day. Keisha, telling on my life, just that I've been able to maintain three homes, y'all, by myself on teacher retirement, my Airbnb and disability. That ain't nothing but God. My life is a miracle. He gives me everything I want. But he don't have to. If he don't do nothing else for me, I'm going to be grateful all the days of my life. If he don't answer another one of my prayers, I will still give him glory. I will still give him glory. Hallelujah. He restored my relationship with my children. I get to raise my granddaughter. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. He healed my daughter. That thought is feeling better. It didn't have to go that way, y'all. We got to live out of a place of gratitude. We got to think about what we have to be grateful for. Oh, because he's a good God. Look at the sun, y'all. If you don't know anything to be thankful for, just look up at the sky. Look at the clouds. It's just sitting up there in the sky. Oh, thank you, God. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! 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 Thank you for them hearts, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you.
for being here and sharing in my testimony. Oh, mm, mm, mm. oh Lord. Woo! I'm getting off here. I, I didn't said that already, didn't I? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yes, he is amazing, Valeria. Dom, Dom. My cousin Dom is on here. Diamond, my cousin Charlene Williams. Diamond has been my supporter since day one. Since day one, more than two years ago. Support me, encouraging me, encouraging me financially and, and, and emotionally. And just your presence, cubs. I thank you, Dom. I thank you, Dom. <laughs> Excuse me. God, I thank you for touching Diamond from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, Father. I thank you for giving her the desires of her heart, Father. I thank you for removing anything in her body that's unlike you. Any plan Satan has for my cousin, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Or any plan she had toward her husband, Winston, or Siobhan or Stephen, I rebuke it right now. You say, you take your hands off of my family. My cousin is a child of the Most High God. And no weapon formed against her will prosper. She will live to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. She will live a long, happy, healthy life, enjoying her well-deserved retirement, doing the things that she wants to do. Father, I thank you for giving her the desires of her heart, Father. I thank you for letting her travel everywhere she wants to travel, Father. I thank you for your guardian angels that go with her everywhere she goes, Father. They will always be with her. Thank Thank you for letting her always feel your presence right on her right shoulder, Father, knowing that you're right there with her, that you will never leave her, never leave her, never leave her, never to fear anything. Woo, Diamond, thank you. Just don't feel, don't, don't hesitate, Diamond, to ask God for what you really want. Don't hesitate to ask God for what you really want. You have not because you ask not. There's <laughs> no good thing he'll withhold from you, my cousin. Mm -mm. You're faithful, Dom. You serve him faithfully. You're consistent. You haven't changed, so you're not going to. God can depend on you. <laughs> he can depend on you, baby. That gives you some favor. That gives you favor, Dom. It gives you favor, and you're walking the truth, and you're worshiping him in spirit and in truth, and I thank God for all he's going to do in your life. Your latter years are better than your previous years, my cousin. <laughs> he got great things ahead for you in the name of Jesus. Woo, amen. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. I'm really going to get off of here now. God bless everybody that watches on the repeat or is, <clears throat> or is watching now and, and has said anything. I ask that you give them all the desires of the heart because you brought them, you led them to me, Father. So let this word be for everybody that accepts it. Everybody that says amen, it is for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. He wants us to have life and have it abundantly, y'all. He wants us happy. That's why he says this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is Pastor Alison John Hall, your pastor the Airways, spiritual entertainer. Author of the book, Cracks in the Potter's Clay, How I Overcame Bipolar One with Faith. Good night. Tell later. Tell my devotion.